Imagine a continent nearly the size of Australia, hidden beneath the waves, only 5% visible, and we've only just discovered it. Today, we're diving into one of Earth's greatest geological mysteries, Zealandia, often called the Eighth Continent. In this video, you'll learn what Zealandia is, how it formed, why it's mostly submerged, what makes scientists believe it qualifies as a continent, and what the implications are for geology and our understanding of Earth's history. Stay tuned, because by the end, you'll see why this submerged landmass could reshape how we think about continents. What is Zealandia? Zealandia is a massive chunk of continental crust in the Southwest Pacific Ocean. Roughly 4.9 million square kilometers in area, which is about two-thirds the size of Australia. Most of it lies underwater. Only around 5 to 6% of it is above sea level, and the best known exposed parts are the land masses of New Zealand and New Caledonia. The name Zealandia was first proposed in the mid-1990s by geophysicist Bruce Luyen Deek as a way to describe a continental block underlying New Zealand and nearby submerged plateaus. In Maori, it is known as Te Riu a Maui, meaning the hills, valleys, and plains of Maui, linking the landmass to indigenous Polynesian narratives. Why do we consider Zealandia a continent? Most people think of continents as the big ones, Africa, North America, Asia, etc. But geologically speaking, the definition hinges on structural features, size, elevation relative to sea floor, crustal thickness, crustal type, and isolation from other continental blocks. Scientific work laid out criteria to what's considered a continent. First, elevated crust or bathymetry compared to typical ocean floor. Second, crust composed of continental type rocks, granite, metamorphics, etc., rather than strictly oceanic basalt. Third, crust thickness and lower density consistent with continental crust. Fourth, a coherent geographic block, reasonably self defined and distinct from adjoining continents. Zealandia ticks those boxes. Its crustal thickness, 10 to 30 kilometers in many places, more than typical oceanic crust, and compositions support the idea it's continental in nature. Where is Zealandia and how big is it? Geographically, Zealandia extends from the Lord Howe Rise near Australia, up through the Norfolk Ridge, past the Campbell Plateau and includes large undersea plateaus. Its full mapped area is around 4.9 million square kilometers, and it spans roughly 4,300 kilometers in length in one recent study. How and when did Zealandia form? This region was once part of the supercontinent Gondwana. As plate tectonics progressed in the late Cretaceous, approximately 83 to 79 million years ago, Zealandia began to rift and separate. One of the key findings is a massive volcanic and magmatic activity accompanied the rifting, especially between approximately 100 to 60 million years ago, forming a large volcanic region that played a crucial role in the thinning and stretching of the continent's crust. As the crust thinned, the landmass gradually subsided, eventually making most of it underwater. Some models suggest that by approximately 23 million years ago, much of the land was submerged. There are even discoveries that suggest the crust beneath Zealandia has ancient roots. Parts of it may carry lithospheric keels older than one billion years, tying back to ancient supercontinents like Rodinia. What do recent studies show? In October 2023, GNS Science announced that Zealandia had been completely mapped including its submarine geology, volcanic fields, and sedimentary basins. According to their media release, this is the first time a continent, even mostly submerged, has been mapped entirely to its submerged edges. That mapping found new details. A giant volcanic region, stretching approximately 4,000 kilometers, 
and evidence of massive crustal stretching and thinning as the continent separated from Gondwana. What makes Zelandia hidden, and why have we only recently acknowledged it? Because approximately 90 to 95% of Zelandia sits underwater, it's not obvious in the way traditional continents are. Oceanic crust, seafloor bathymetry, and submerged margins make detection and classification difficult. Many earlier geologic maps treated parts of this region as continental fragments or separate microcontinents. Only in recent decades have deep sea drilling, seismic surveys, satellite gravity, magnetic mapping, and dredged rock samples combined to reveal the coherent continental block beneath the sea. Recognizing Zealandia challenges common perceptions of where continents begin and end, how much land versus water, how crust versus seafloor, etc. But here's the twist. Despite all this evidence, not everyone agrees that Zealandia officially qualifies as a continent. The challenge lies in definitions, in the fact it's mostly submerged, and in the inertia of traditional geography, many academic and map-making institutions haven't officially updated their continent lists. So the question remains, what exactly counts as a continent? And does Zealandia fully pass the test? Or is it still a microcontinent chart continental fragment? Why recognition matters beyond geology. If Zealandia becomes widely accepted as a continent, it may influence educational materials, maps, and our simple mental model of Earth's landmasses. It also underscores how much of Earth's crust remains unmapped and how new techniques like deep sea drilling, magnetics, seismic mapping are rewriting what we thought we knew. From a societal point of view, it also reinforces the deep time scale of Earth's changes. What we now call New Zealand or New Caledonia are visible parts of a vast ancient continental block that has gone largely underwater. In other words, the hidden continent is no longer just a hypothesis. The evidence is now extensive and compelling. It's not just maybe a continent, but perhaps, yes, one of Earth's continents, only hidden under the waves. Zealandia is more than a curiosity. It's a major piece of Earth's story, a reminder that even something as foundational as how many continents are there can still shift when scientific tools catch up to hidden parts of our planet. If you learned something new today, drop a like and subscribe. We've got even more mind-blowing videos coming up next.